This video will be a quick demonstration of how relatively simple it is to view a comet using SkyTrack software. So we're loading up the software, going to click connect to mount. Mount's connected. Then I'm going to go to the comets tab underneath the Deep Sky Objects tab. First thing we need to do is download comet orbital elements. This will contain the information we need to calculate the comet positions. We see our list of comets. I'm going to use this filter to only list comets that have a magnitude of 12 or brighter. And tonight we're going to take a look at this one here. It has a total magnitude of 9.9, .9, so relatively bright for a comet. And it's only 0.4 astronomical units from the Earth. So we'll click SLU. And when the font and the target object frame turns green, we know we've arrived. And we've arrived at our comet. So I'm going to go over to Nina. My camera is already connected. So I'll go to the Imaging tab. And we'll start off with a 30 second image. And we'll just jump ahead in the video. And here's our image downloading. Fit image to area. And there's our comet, right? Nicely centered. And we can see at 30 seconds, we're already seeing quite a bit of the tail of the comet. So I'm going to try to do a two minute exposure. And there's our two minute exposure. What I'll do now over the next four and a half hours or so, I'm going to take a two minute exposure, one right after the other. And then I'm going to assemble all those pictures into a video. And here's the resulting video.